I'm deep in the woods right now, and today I'm going to attempt a survival challenge where my only tools are a portable net, a knife, one rod, and one hook. We've got the Tapsco River over that way, and using only what I can find out here, I'm going to see how many different fish species I can catch. Step one, I'm going to need to find some bait, and the best place to look for worms and insects is anywhere dark and moist, under wet leaves, logs, rocks, anything like that. But uh, you don't really want to go around sticking your hand into wet dark places. You never know if there's going to be a snake or spider hiding there. So I'm going to grab this stick right here and I'll use this to prod around and see what I can find. Well, this rock looks pretty good. It's got to be something under here uh, if I can get it up. Oh yeah. That's, oh, I see, I see something right here. All right, here's catch number one. Got a little beetle thing. There we go. Our first catch. First rock we overturned, we got a, uh, a little beetle dude. Oh, jackpot. Whew, look at this, guys. Holy crap. That, uh, let me, I gotta make sure I capture this guy. Nice and easy. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go anywhere. Got you. This is a night crawl. Look at this guy. That is exactly what we're looking for right here. Nice. If we get a couple more of these, then uh, we can start fishing. All right. Come on. One more worm. Where are you at? Oh, oh, right here. Right here, guys. Whew. Here, another squirmy specimen. It looks like this guy. This guy probably ran to a predator recently. It looks like he's missing part of his body. These worms actually have a defense mechanism where if something grabs them, they can release uh, part of their body just to detach and then the main part can keep living on while the predator gets a, a little snack. All right, that's two worms and one beetle. I think it's about time to start fishing and uh, we can find some more bait along the way if we need it. Oh, that is a pretty big fish right here. Well, let's see if we can catch it. I got a visual on him. He was heading upstream, so I'm gonna thread this worm on real quick. Try to make a quick cast upstream. Oh yeah, that's not bad. Let me try to inch my way out here, see if I can find that fish. Oh, there's a bite, there's a bite. He's on it. Got him. Oh wait, no, this is not what I was looking for. Here you go guys, species number one. I believe this is a, some type of sunfish. Pretty fish, he's ready to go. Did you like my hand? Nope, no, he's ready to go. It's a start. But the goal for today is to catch sunfish, bluegill, creek chubs, maybe like a little sucker, definitely some smallies. Uh, I'm gonna try to catch a little of everything, but we're definitely gonna need to find some more bait if, if I'm gonna be successful. Oh, bite. Got him. Ah! All right, we need to make a move. We got two little baby fish, but we need to catch some cool fish now. Oh, that, is that a minnow? Oh, there's a minnow right here. All right, I see him. I see you guys. Oh yeah, stand still for me. Don't move. I'm just gonna feed you to a smallmouth bass. I got one in sight. Damn, too slow. Let's try again. Oh, here we go. Here they are. Oh, I got one. Let's go, baby. Woo! Look at that. Look at that minnow. That's gonna catch me a smallie right here. Uh, let me show you guys what I got for this guy. Uh, here's my uh, storage device. I got it from iCast last year. It's called the Genie Jar. Check this out. So I put my minnow in there, right? So if I fill, if I fill it up on this end, the minnow could escape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it upside down and I'm going to just let it fill up with water just like this. And watch this. Look at that. The jar is completely filled and the minnow is right there safe and sound. And watch, if I want to get the minnow out, all I do is go to the other end and watch this. Look at that. The minnow comes right to the top. Look at that design. That's genius. Well, while I'm over here, let's see what's under some of these rocks over here. This is prime for catching crawfish right here, guys. All you gotta do is lift up, and nope, nothing. Lift up, scoop, and oh yeah, what do we got here? We got a very interesting creature. Huh, I don't know if he bites or not. Let's take him over to the genie jar and examine him. Look at that. What the hell is that, guys? Some kind of larvae. Here you go guys, that's the uh, larvae I captured. Hopefully he doesn't eat my minnow. He's definitely looking pretty mean with those pinchers. This spot looks nice. We got a nice deep, uh, about a four foot hole right here. 
definitely gotta be some fish. Let's go ahead and try to use Mr. Beetle right now. All right, he's on there. Let's see if we can throw him out there on my ultralight rod. Yeah, not bad. Not a horrible cast. Oh, something's looking at, they're looking at him. All right, they're chewing on him. He, they got him, got him. Something ate the beetle. All right, this is a new species. I think every fish we've caught has been this species of sunfish. I'm gonna say this is, oh, sorry. Huh, how do I catch something different? Oh, I see the bass, is that bass? It's all a bass over here. Wait, we need, we need our minnow. All right, ah, screw the minnow trap. Screw the minnow trap. We need the real minnow. I know he's around here somewhere. Make a cast over here. Nice, easy cast. Oh, snap. He's getting destroyed. Oh, something took it. Got him, got him. Oh, he got off. Damn. I need more minnows. Hmm. You know, I have an idea, guys. There's one. All right, here we go. So, to catch these minnows, I'm gonna first subdue the fish so I can properly work on him by instantly killing him on the ground like that. So now that he's dead, he won't be able to, to escape, as you can see. And then I'm gonna cut off his head. I think these minnows will eat the guts. Here, let's do an experiment. I'm gonna throw some guts in there. Let's see if the minnows eat it. Oh yeah, they eat it. They eat it, all right. Let's gonna pl um, place it in the net like so. And we're gonna put it in the water and see what happens. Oh, bass. Oh, large mouth, small mouth. Shh. Oh, come here. Shh. No, 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 don't swim away. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine, I just wanna catch you. Oh yes, he's on it. He's looking at it. Oh, he got it. Got him. Oh, my drag. No, my drag wasn't set right. No. Oh, I, I had loosened my drag because I was messing with the, uh... oh, he's still there. He's still there. I can still catch him. He'll come back. I didn't hook him very long. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, no. No, Sunfish got it. No, 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 no. Give it to the bass. Come here, bass. Come here. He's got, oh, he's looking at it. He's looking at it. He got it. I got him. There we go. Woo. Species number two, smallmouth bass. Pretty little fish. Feisty. Bye-bye. Next hole. See if I can safely get down here. Walk along this tree. All right, we got a pretty good angle here. I can see on the bottom what's going on. Do a little bit of casting. Mm, there's one. He's on it. Got him. Oh, I think it's something different. What do we got here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Bouncing on this tree uh, is not the easiest task, but we do have a different fish here, I believe. I think this is a green sunfish. Different hole, different uh, species of fish occupying it, I guess. Let's go, buddy. He doesn't weigh very much, so he should be fine from this uh, 10 to 15 foot drop. Oh, holy crap. Look at this. That right there, I think that's a mole rat. Let's go ahead and check this guy out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that guy. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Dude, this guy's badass. So look, look at these little, he has these uh, very sharp um, talons or claws or whatever you want to call them. So he'll use these to dig into the ground. He's got a little, little snout, little teeth, and he actually has no eyes. If you look carefully at this guy, he has no eyes. He's completely blind right there because he literally lives on the ground. So there's no need for him to have any eyes. I'm not sure how he wound up up here and I'm not sure how he died, but I have never before came across one of these uh, mole rats in nature in my entire life. Oh yes, that's what I need right there. Oh, he's got it, he's got it, yes. New species right here. Whew, we got the creek chub. I want to use him as bait, but this one is way too big. Hmm, all right. Another new species. Oh, oh, see you, buddy. Uh, get out of here. I reloaded on uh, on worms, but unfortunately, I haven't been able to find any crawfish. Every time I lift up a rock, one of those weird weird uh, alien bugs keeps showing up. But I'm gonna try to catch some minnow-sized bait fish, and then we can use those to uh, catch some big smallies, hopefully. 
Oh, oh, here we go, guys. That's what we needed. This is a, wait, what? This is the smallest smallmouth bass I've ever seen in my life. Approximately uh, three inches long. Dang, cute little dude, but needs some minnows. All right, this fish is looking very unusual. But we're gonna have to catch it. It's pretty small though. Oh, he took it, he took it. Got him, oh no, 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 no. All right, what is this guy? What is this fish? It looks very, very colorful. It's about three and a half inches long, but is he? Oh, he got it. He's eating it. I got him. What? Yeah, he's, he's just chilling right there. He's definitely feeding. Chilling in the current, looking, he's facing. Got him. Damn. Huh, this guy is smart as f Got him. Oh, oh. What do we got here? Guys, look at this. I hooked him on the outside of the mouth. This is a new species. Look at that, guys. This is literally what one of my lures might look like. This is definitely one of the coolest minnows I've ever caught. It literally has the color of like a, of like a Lucky Craft pointer. A little purple, little, little iridescence, chartreuse tips. He will, this guy will definitely catch me a nice smallie, I bet. And comment below. I don't know exactly what type of minnow this is, but uh, I'm guessing it's some type of shiner, I guess. Emerald shiner, maybe? Holy sh**, dude, what the f Oh my god. This is by far the, ev the biggest spider I've ever seen in my entire, look at that guy. That guy's a freaking giant, huge wolf spider. I'm gonna feed it one of my worms, because I, I wanna see it eat. You guys ready, watch this. I'm gonna throw this worm on the spider. Let's see if he eats it. Wait, is he not eating it? What? Dude, look at that giant spider. You're not gonna eat a free worm meal? Come on, man. Eat it. Eat the worm. Come on, bro. Don't be a little pussy. Eat the worm. Nice juicy worm right here. Let's see if I can hand feed him. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Ah! It's time for you to meet your destiny. There we go. If a smallie doesn't eat this, guys, I don't think there are any smallies here. Check out his action right here. Oh, is he dead? What the hell, man? Whoa, don't die on me already. Oh, okay, he's moving. He's moving. Oh, whoa, someone's chasing him. Wait, did he get eaten already? I think he got eaten. I got him. He got eaten. Oh, first cast. Oh, we got a rock bass. Damn, that shiner got destroyed. Man, this guy was hungry. Hungry little fella. I'll right, see you later. All right. One final bait to try, guys. I've been trying to avoid this because uh, I have no idea if these guys can hurt you or not. But let me go ahead and see. Can they hurt me? I mean, they seem relatively... This guy seems relatively benign. Get him out of here. All right. I see a quencher. No, no, no. This guy's too, too vicious. All right, calm down, buddy. Let me just hook you in the tail. Here we go, guys. Final bait. This little, uh, little uh, crazy looking bug thing. Oh, something's on it. I got him. I got something big on the worm. Oh, it's big. I got him. Holy crap. It actually worked. What do we got here? What do we got? It's big. Oh my, dude. That's crazy looking thing worked. Oh, it's Molly. Molly. Yo. Up here. Let's go. Woo. Guys, that crazy bug thing worked. This guy literally fought like a five pounder on this ultralight rod. You guys saw the fight. That was intense. Look how fat he is. Beautiful, beautiful Creek Smalley. That is how we end the survival fishing challenge right there. Beautiful Smalley at the end of the day. Man, let him go. All right, that is it for today's challenge. Overall, I'd say it went pretty well. I caught 20 to 30 fish, six or seven different species. And although I didn't catch any huge fish, I'm fishing a creek. And in all honesty, fishing isn't always about catching huge fish. It's about having a good time, enjoying the great outdoors. And I'd say today was one of my most memorable fishing days of the year. 
I saw a dead mole rat, and it would have been really cool if it was alive. I saw a giant spider the size of my hand. Well, it's a little smaller than my hand, but it was still pretty badass. And I saw a shiner that looked like an exact replica of a lucky crab. Ah! Holy crap! <laughs> my bad, guys. I saw this guy. Dude, look at this. <laughs> I saw something crawling on my arm. And look, here's this little fella. I don't know if he's poisonous or not. And my finger's kind of burning after he was on it. You guys will have to uh, comment below whether this guy is dangerous or not. But for now, I'm just going to get him off me. He looks, uh, he looks a little dangerous, I'm not going to lie. Don't get near my junk, man. Don't get near my junk. Yeah, get on the stick. There we go. Here we go, little buddy. All right, comment below what the hell this thing is. It scared the bejesus out of me. Uh, let me go ahead and stand up because I don't want that to happen again. But, ah, yeah, super fun day in the water. It was hot as heck out here, but I was in the water so it kept me cool. If you guys have never tried anything like this, get to your nearest creek. Don't take anything but one rod and one hook and uh, see what kind of fish you can catch. I bet you'll have a blast.